quite the fail here. This is not, did not go over so well. So. Hello, hello everybody. Good morning. Welcome to another daily vlog. If you're new, my name is Jess. I do vlog every single day over here on my YouTube channel. We would love to have you join us for today. It has been a crazy week. Man, it's been a whirlwind. But today is Sunday. We're really excited. We're getting ready for church and we're going to bring you guys with us today. It's going to be a very fun day, but a very busy day. <laughs> so the kids slept much better last night. I think I was asleep by like 10 o'clock and I did not, I don't think, I think I did get up one time because I heard somebody, but other than that, I got to sleep all night and I feel a lot better. We're getting ready for church and I just had a really simple, uh, I'll be there in just a second. I had a very simple, just straighten up my hair and um, we're getting ready. We need to leave in 20 minutes. I'm going to try to get to church just a little bit early and um I'm sorry. There's always people. It's always crazy. I'm trying to get to church a little bit early today. So we're trying to rush around and leave earlier than normal. And it's just kind of chaotic. So I need to get the boys ready. Me and Lucy are ready. We have about 20 minutes to get out of the house. We have our coffee bar going up today. So I'm excited about that. Um, more stuff going up in the special needs room. Um, just lots of fun stuff going on. So once we get done with church, we'll come home for a little bit. And I need to bake a few well actually I'm just baking one thing I'm baking some s'mores brownies for tonight's after church get together then we have church David's preaching at uh, church today or tonight I'm sorry I'm I'm all over the place my brain is not fully awake <laughs> and then we have a hangout after church so he's got a busy day he's preaching twice in a day which we were thinking last night hey buddy we were thinking last night, when's the last time you... in my pocket. Can I look in your pocket? What's in there? Do you even have a pocket? Oh, you want a shirt with a pocket? Oh, he wants to wear a shirt with a pocket. Okay, I think we can try to do that. Um, I don't remember the last time. I don't. We were trying to think, have you ever preached twice in a day? He's like, I'm sure I have, but we can't think of a time. So... Let's go get some He'll do great, I'm sure. I've got like a slight headache. So we're going to get ready to go. We're bringing you guys with us. Come spend the day with us. When I was lost and hopeless. When I hey guys. So, sorry about Blue's Clues blaring in the background. We are home. Church went really well. I got a lot of packages in and got to unpack those. I didn't film all the stuff we got, but we got so much stuff. The alligator wall came with all the toys that are going to go on the wall. Um, the decor pictures I'm going to frame. Actually, I brought them home so that I could... By the way, I was giving Mark a cupcake and it has orange frosting and my finger is now orange forever, I think. Um, these are the pictures I'm going to frame for our decor in our room. More toys came. So much stuff. And Nate did really well in church, but we only made it through worship and then he was ready to run around. It's so funny because he gets overstimulated and he starts wanting to get up and move or yell out. When I take him to that special needs sensory calm space, he literally just sits there. Like he doesn't want to yell. He doesn't want to run around. And I know a lot of his like yelling out in church is because he's trying to distract himself from the noises that are bothering him. So we went and sat in the, in the special needs room for the last part of church and he did so well. He loves the beanbags. He loves to sit in there. David's home right now. He's bringing home little seizures. I'm going to start on the s'mores brownie. So I've got to make graham cracker crust, graham cracker crust, and then brownie mix, and then marshmallows and chocolate on top. So, hey honey, daddy has pizza, so everybody's going to eat pizza. Mark needs a nap real bad. Dad needs a nap real bad. <laughs> Do you want to tell him what you did? You can tell him. <laughs> David uh, was saying hey to everybody at church, and he announced from the pulpit that he was the church worship pastor. <laughs> it didn't even catch himself. He's been saying church worship pastor for years and years, because that's what he's been. And today, 
you aren't the church worship pastor. <laughs> We're tired, y'all. When I tell you it's been a week, it has been a week. Are you okay? He didn't even realize he did it until I told him. <laughs> I have no clue. No clue at all. Oh, all right. Anyway, um, how was Children's Church, Liz? You ready to eat some pizza? I'm freezing. She says she's freezing. You were just saying you were hot. That cooled you off that much? Mark needs a nap. Mark is a whiny nap needed man. Anyway, we'll see you guys back in a little bit. When I get the brownies made, I'll show you and I'll link the recipe I used down below. Maybe it'll turn out good. Mark, we're going to keep our fingers crossed. You guys, I have quite the fail here and this is not, did not go over so well. So you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I spent all this time making this and I was, I let it sit for a few hours so that when we went, the picture had them like cut into little bars. That's what I was going for. Well, apparently, and I baked it as long as it said, but apparently it didn't set up enough. Like it's really chocolatey, which is just like kind of raw. And I didn't know that when I put the marshmallows, so it's not like I couldn't really do anything about it now. Because how you bake this recipe is you bake the crust and the brownie mix until it's set. And then you put the marshmallows on top and brown them. Anyway, I did not know. I went to cut them. It just fell apart. It's a hot mess. It tastes really good, but I just, I'm not bringing this. It just looks disgusting. I don't know. So I may try this recipe again. I may not. I don't know. <laughs> um, this is a, this is a fail. So all I have to bring is chips and dip, which I feel like is so lame, but what can you do? Um, this, if I had just not cut it, I could have served it as like a scoopable dessert, maybe. But now that it's cut, it looks even worse. And the marshmallows are really sticky and hard to cut through. So I'm calling this and just saying it's a fail. I tasted it. It tastes delicious. It just doesn't look good at all. So Womp, womp, womp. We're getting ready. It's 4.15. Church starts at 5 o'clock, so I've got to get the kids ready. Um, Dave is leaving a little bit before us, so not good. Not good. So my chocolate dessert was a massive fail, like you saw. Um, David brought the chips and dip with him. We are just getting ready to go. I feel so tired. I cannot like catch up on sleep enough. When I get back, I still need to edit my YouTube video and actually a couple of YouTube videos. I'm, I'm very behind. I just have been so tired. It's been such a crazy week and it's like all caught up with me. Plus, I feel super congested. I'm like allergic to something here or something. <laughs> so we're getting ready to leave. There is no childcare on Sunday nights and the kids do pretty good. <laughs> it's always a little crazy. So we're going to bring Kindles and I'm just packing the bag now. I'm going to let their Kindles charge just to the last minute because they're getting low on battery. Um, And then after church, like I said, there's like a get together. That's what I was bringing the dessert for. But um, we'll see if we can stay as long as everybody is happy and all that. I'm excited to hear David. Um, if the kids, you know, start, act, you know, getting loud or whatever, we'll just step out and I'll listen to, I think they stream the online. Um, I can listen to that from the foyer or the lobby or another room if I need to. But I don't look the best after laying down and taking a little nap. <laughs> I'm trying to get my hair back to some sort of not crazy um, but sorry, you guys, today has not been very exciting. That recipe was really easy. I think I just need to let the brownie set a little better. Also, this could also be the problem. I was a little bit shy on oil and didn't realize that. And I had to use a little bit of butter in place of the oil, like half butter, half oil, which I thought would be fine. But I wonder if that caused it to not set up as good. Um, it tastes delicious, but anyway, Layla's eating her, her dog food and Lucy's talking to her cousin and Nate and Mark are running around playing, but we're going to get our shoes on, get a church bag packed. I'm trying to think if there's anything I could bring for them that would be like quiet 
in um, besides like the Kindles because the Kindles are quiet if you wear headphones. And Mark won't really wear headphones that well. I might have to work with him on, he doesn't usually mind watching them on, on mute, but anyways, we're going to head there and we'll see you guys when we get home. All right, you guys, we're home. I had to leave a little bit early because I was having a lot of pain in my eye. It's like my eyeball. I thought it was my contact and I was like trying to figure out all during church what it was. Like there were fresh pairs of contacts I just changed like a week ago and I haven't had any trouble with them, but something happened and I was just having a lot of eye pain and my eye was all red. And so after church, I had David look really good and he couldn't decide what was going on. So um, we only just kind of hung out for a minute after church and then I came home and took out my contacts and my eyes still hurting and um, it's not as red anymore though. I think maybe I have a little scratch in there or something and it's like almost throbbing. <laughs> Seriously, what? I don't think I've ever had anything like that happen. And I don't know what I did. Um, it just started hurting like right in the middle of church. So David did really good. He did so good. I'm so proud of him. Uh, he is, he's so anointed and I love watching God use him. And um, it was a really great service. We met, we lasted through most of it. So like the boys <laughs> did pretty well through worship they both have trouble when it gets quiet. They try to like talk really loud to me and stuff. And um, uh, maybe 10 minutes into the message, I had to take them out. And then we came back during altar call. Because if there's music, it's not as noticeable that they're really loud. And we kind of sit in the back. But it was really good. And we did. They did they, I think they did really well. So David is um, hanging out a little bit and then he's going to drop the rest of the packages and a few other things that were at the main campus that we need to move to the to our campus. Um, more stuff for the special needs room and also just a few other things that they were uh, that needs to be moved. So he's going to do that before he comes home and then hopefully probably not tomorrow, but well, maybe tomorrow, either tomorrow or Tuesday, I'll go by there and work some more in the room, unpack stuff, and get it all set up. It's so exciting. And we also have um, to be over there on Tuesday because we're, um, no, not Tuesday. Oh, yeah, Tuesday. <laughs> what, what day is today? Uh, we have to package up. So we're doing a, did I tell you guys about the snow cone day? I feel like I did. We're doing a snow cone day on Saturday where we like tell the neighborhood like, hey, we're here with, you know, new church, new church plant. And two days before that on Thursday, we're going to be passing out like information about it. So they know to come to our snow cone, free snow cone day in the parking lot of our church. Two days before that, we're going to get together and make this whole flyer situation. We're going to have a little flyer attached to some popsicles. Like I'm thinking like the unfrozen like push pop you know like water ice freezer pop things we're gonna have a bunch of them unfrozen so we don't have to keep them cold put a little flyer on them drop them off at a bunch of people's door that says like come chill with us on saturday get a free snow cone so we're that's kind of what we're gearing up for this week tuesday i think it's tuesday we're going to be making those little popsicle flyers the kids are the kids are about done. <laughs> Thursday we're gonna be going throughout the neighborhood passing those flyers out. And then Saturday will be the popsicle or no, the shaved ice truck is gonna be at our church. Just a lot of stuff going on. So sometime in there I will also be working in the special needs room. Um I wanted to say thank you again to everyone who's donated to that. It means so much to me. Buddy, it's okay. Mark is beyond tired right now. Hey, 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 screaming at it doesn't make it work better. I told everyone, let me know what you want to eat. I will make whatever it's easiest to throw in the air fryer or the oven, or we'll do a grilled cheese. Just let me know. Lucy's like, I'm not hungry yet. Nate said he wanted leftover pizza. Mark has an applesauce and a smoothie, the animal smoothie, and I don't know what else he's going to want. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for all the stuff that you have purchased for the special needs room, 
Also, I've received a couple of gift cards. Thank you so much. As we do this room, I know there's going to be things we run into as we get new kids come in and everything that, oh, it would have been nice to have this, would have been nice to have that, and to already have money that we can spend uh, ready and available to us, that means so much to me, and I really do appreciate it. So anyway, I'm going to try to clean up this mess of a kitchen. I'm still bummed about my brownies. I, I will say I tasted them again. When we get home, they taste delicious. They're just ugly. <laughs> They look like a big pile of goo, but they taste really good. So I'll still link the recipe. Maybe you'll have better luck than me. Just let them, let them bake a little longer than the directions say. I will check in with you guys at the end of the night. I still don't have a video going up tomorrow, so I have got to edit. But Lucy's talking to her cousin, and she doesn't get to talk to her all day, so I'm just letting her have my computer to talk to her. So... I need to edit here soon, but I will check in with you guys in a little bit and uh, we'll end the night together. I just got the kids to bed. Um, David's home and I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog and possibly this one before I go to bed. I am still having so much mouth pain. I had my crown done on Tuesday and today's Sunday and it is like so achy. I googled this. And uh, most things were saying you can have pain for a couple weeks. And it's only been five or six days. So I guess I'm just going to keep waiting it out. Um, I had a lot of pain with it last time I had a crown. So I'm not shocked that I'm still having pain. It's just kind of annoying. And, like tooth pain is some of the like, worst, like most annoying pain. But. Anyway, I'm going to edit the videos and go to bed, and tomorrow will be a new day. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's been a very long week, a good week, very great week, but very long. Having COVID and then going on vacation for two weeks and then coming back right into BBS and all the activities we've had, I just feel so worn down. But anyway, um, thank you guys for being here today. I love you all so much. If you like this video, you know what to do. I'm sorry. I feel like it was kind of boring, but give it a big thumbs up anyway. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We'd love to have you over here as part of the Bless Just fam, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.